All right, how many of you guys have gone to job fairs at school? Raise your hands. How many of you have walked out of those job fairs in like 10 or 15 minutes? Most of you. Me too. Um, doesn't it kind of feel so often when we're in these organized networking opportunities that the conversations we have are robotic, monotonous? What do you do? What's the pay? What are the benefits? Who, what, when? Not a whole lot of why. So what I realized when I started going to all these events and walking out is that we're kind of conditioning ourselves to, ha to have conversations that we don't care about. We're asking people questions, and we know that the answers that we're likely going to get aren't necessarily what we're most interested in. And so there's something that we can do when we're in an opportunity to meet new people, to network. And that is all about asking better questions. So on the top of your paper, I want you guys to write, what do you do? All right, are you guys ready? Now I want you to put a big X through that statement. How many of you guys get just like enthralled or really excited when someone asks you, what do you do? It's pretty boilerplate, right? So what we can do and what we're going to do right now is actually go over some questions that we can replace that with. So a six, a six word phrase changed my life. And those words are, what are you most excited about? You guys think about that. What are you most excited about? There is no wrong answer to that question. The answer that someone is going to give you is likely something that they want to talk about because it's what they're literally most excited about. You can ask that question casually. You can ask it to someone that you're hanging out with in the park. They'll give you a great answer. You talk to someone who's working in Goldman Sachs. What's most exciting in the finance industry right now? What are they going to tell you? They're going to talk about ideas. What's most exciting? What are you most excited about? Here's another one. We focus on what's next. What's the next big thing you have coming up? What's the next big project? What about socially? What's the next big trip you have coming up? Focuses on forward-facing events and ideas as opposed to the past and what we already know. And the third, and you guys, this one is just, it, it works everywhere, is favorite slash best. If you ask people about their favorite aspects of their job, you're going to get insight into why that job actually matters and is of interest. If you ask someone what their best experience has been this summer, they're going to talk about something awesome that you really want to do. You guys see how that transforms the conversation from what do you do to actually having conversations that you care about? If we're having monotonous conversations over and over and over again, we're going to leave in 15 minutes. If we have conversations that we care about, we'll stay for the full 60. We'll meet the people that we're supposed to. So that's our first one. 